that there are games on Steam Deck which work with BattleEye and make use of it because BattleEye added support for Linux well over a year ago. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, you know it. Whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone, joined every week by Jordan Spong and Pedro Mateus, and together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. I might have a little extra noise, a little ambience, a little saturation in my voice tonight, because Pedro is being extra shouty down here on my keyboard tray. It is a little bit terrifying because <laughs> after the slim miracle that allowed us to do a show last night, thank you for showing up again, Oxy. I had a moment yesterday to take that Rasta, that little Raspberry Pi in 100 x86 board out. I'm like, I got to start testing this thing. So all of Pedro's video and audio shenanigans are taking place on that turns out to be shouty little boy once it gets up to temperature. <laughs> Kind of fun, kind of new. Uh, Jordan, you are back from... Lots of stuff. I Niagara very Falls. Busy. Yep. I, I, I went over the falls. I lived. It was fun. It was were you rejected by the fall gods? Yes. Poseidon was like, get the fuck out of here and shot me back up. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, fall, fall down. Yeah. <laughs> Fly back up. No, uh, I, uh, I did a bunch of shit this week. I had, uh, I had the week off. So I went to uh, two shows, one in Niagara, one in uh, Toronto. I got my ass measured for a new chair. I'm excited for that. How does that go? How does the, um, is that something you got to do at home or do you have to go to like a specialized ass measurement facility? So they do, if you're on their website, they do give you the process for like figuring out the measurements on your own. But I did want to go and like try out all the different options and see like, what actually what actually works so i went to one of the places where they do the 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 sizing and i put my order in and in a couple weeks i'll have a nice fancy new chair how does this work though you're glossing over the actual measurement of the ass inning um (laughs) there's like various seat sizes and you try them out and you uh and you figure out which is the accommodating one for you because i'm just imagining some dude in a room like with a big bucket of plaster paris is like drop a no, I was expecting <laughs> to drop pants and have like someone with the tape measure come in, like you know, do do give me give me the once over with 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 the with the butt. Yeah, yeah do, ma- do ma- they go inside the crack with the tape measure? <laughs> uh, no, they just stuck a rod paper. up there and they jiggled it around a bunch. Uh, it felt really good, uh, but I don't they know what that had to do the with the. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that had to do with the chair measurement. No, but uh, I, I I tried out a bunch of them. I went with the, uh, the extra long chair, and yeah. I'm 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 ex- I'm excited. It was very very comfortable, and I look forward to sitting more. Your forever chair. My forever chair. Oh yeah, and I and I get to go to a magic tournament tomorrow, so that's that's good. You looking forward to that? Yeah, should be fun. Yeah. Are you gonna play the um new magic uh like uh Chucky? Yeah, yeah. Well, so it, it's it's all about haunted interior decoration. So yeah. I didn't know there were Fortnite magic cards. I learned a lot about magic. Like there's there, Fallout there, there, magic cards. There's Assassin's Creed magic cards. There's, there's, uh, there, there's a they, lot. <laughs> they, they, they've been they've been straight up talking about a Marvel Comics magic set for like a couple of years. Supposedly that's happening. So oh, there's a they, Ghostbusters they, one. Uh, I they, saw a Rosewater Stone post that one today. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mark Rosewater. Yeah, um, Ro- Rose Waterstone. That's that's his new name. That the post post no, no, no. like uh, novelty the, the stuff. The Rose Waterstone account on Mastodon that uh, oh. posts the. I saw that um Mattel had put out Batman Barbies. Barbman? No, no. There's a Harley Quinn, like an official Harley Quinn Barbie. Oh, and the Poison Ivy one. Yeah, and then those. I went. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And the Harley Quinn was gone. <laughs> All of the Poison Ivy for days, man. Perfectly Which in stock. Is- Oh, that's that, 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 that's so sad. Why you gotta that, do my girl like that? Yeah, it's 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 the it's the OG power couple. Uh. Pedro Mateus, how's it going? Uh, You've been playing a uh, Skyrim on your couch. Yes, playing Skyrim on the Steam Deck because it, guess what? That 2011 game, admittedly, it's a 64 bit version, but the Steam Deck plays that 60 FPS all day long, everything maxed out. So yeah. Uh, I, I've been enjoying that. Uh, earlier in the week, I did go to um, a Felix, though, which was nice. <laughs> we went to uh, go see a place 
Uh, it's on the southeast coast uh, of Britain, which was weird because it was sunset and the sun was setting behind us and to the right a little bit. <laughs> For people born in Portugal that are used to seeing the sunset over the ocean, it's like, what did you, did you have like a weird lizard brain moment where your, where your body where your your mind is like oh no the sun's exploding it's fucked up <laughs> no it was just the, the whole it's like no the sun is setting like the, the sky was getting you know more reddish uh and there was nothing on the water so the sun's over what <laughs> it, it, it's it's following oh, you. right it's, 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 ultimately it's at the end of the day you don't really have to worry about it because it'll be back up at 4 a.m <laughs> not, not anymore. It's, 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 it's it already fall, comes so it only comes back. up at like five. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's right. why we here at Linux Gamecast have to resolve to blow up the sun. We got to get <laughs> UV lamps for everybody, so you can have. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm just thinking about how many times have you read that horror story that people bought like UV bulbs? And then oh yeah. It, yeah. Oh, no. Wasn't there some crypto convention that yeah, all the yes. people bros were looking at the yes. UVAs? <laughs> and that really sucks if you think you're hanging out under a black light all night and you wake up the next morning and you're hella crispy. Yep. <laughs> and your eyes are all crusty because, hey, guess what? You're staring at the sun. Effectively. <laughs> Fortunately, that's not a problem for the horse, though, babe. No, see, the horse is exclusively prepared either via sous vide or air fryer. It's the bougiest methods for the bougiest horse. It's the steam. Sale? Kinda. No, no. Like, for real. If it's in stock, it's on sale, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be your last chance to procrastinate about buying a Steam Deck for cheap, and you can hate yourself for the rest of the year, which there's not much left. That's right, 64 and 512 gig Steam Deck. The LCD models, you know, the... The old tried, true, battle-tested one are on sale until September 26th. So if you're listening to this on Monday, you still got a little bit of time. So I wanted to give people a notice. We're talking, you can get these things cheaper than you can get a used one. So the 64 gig has been marked down to 296 from 394, 15% off. And the 512, 336 from 449. So yeah, if you want a sub $300 brand new Steam Deck. Get that 296 model and pop a drive in it. You're good to go. Pedro that thing up. Done. Bye. <laughs> yeah, the, as it turns out, the uh, 64 gig one wasn't all that popular when it first came out until people realized, wait a second, you could just replace the M.2 SSD. And then uh, it started selling very, very well. Uh, I, I bought it specifically with that intention. That's why my 64 gig version uh, has um, 256 gig SSD in it. Uh, At this the, point, shouldn't you have like an eight terabyte? I should, but I don't want to spend that kind of money, right? Because, SSD. like, for whatever reason, like SSD <laughs> price, the storage price thing just plateaued, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It got wild there for a minute, like up to about like two gigs, and they're like, "That's enough for the commoners." All right. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the if you're buying like even the twenty two thirty is like one terabyte, they're eighty. Dollars, ninety dollars ish, certainly about 80, 90 pounds here. Yeah, I got a two hundred and fifty six gig drive, like from a name brand, to put in this uh, Razda thing for like twenty bucks. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's 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 real dumb if you get like a Kingston or something. And like for most things, you don't even like even crappy SSDs are so fast that mm -hmm. it really it, it doesn't matter. You're um, but unless you're like you do want really to replace that sixty four gig EMMC for the sixty four gig version. You do want to replace it because that's SD card slow. So yeah. Yes. But there, there, there's some speculation as to why this is happening. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think this just sniffs of them clearing out old stock, or maybe they put in a new order of OLEDs and they just want to clear up some space in the uh, in the warehouse. They've been trying to discontinue the uh, since at least November 2023. These two specific models. Do you think? So, do you think we're gonna? You think we're gonna get like a cheapo 64 gig no. uh, OLED model? I don't because Valve came out publicly. Remember this? You got to roll it back a bit. Valve was surprised that everybody went for the more expensive decks. They mm -hmm. publicly came out and said that, and they're like, shit, we didn't make enough of the expensive ones. We thought everybody was going to go for like the basic bitch model. So no, the 256 two, one was the popular one. <laughs> yeah, then they even made like the Turbo YOLO deck, right? You know, the red, crazy looking like special edition one. The, the US only edition, yes. <laughs>
So uh, I, I don't know, man. Like maybe they did like another run of 64, 256, like which is the only difference is the storage. Like you, let's face it, you can, those are, inter- you can change those yeah. out. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. Except for the 512 uh, gig, uh, because screen. that one, ha- it has, yeah, it has the uh, anti-glare screen, and the little a carrying case is slightly different. Bit, I'm here, right? <laughs> yeah, no, you, you, yes, you, you can the, scratch you it real good. Yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 the 64 gig one didn't even come with the uh, case, it just came in a box. I mean, it that's comes r- with a case. Does it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they all come with a case, uh, <laughs> but, like, you know, somebody like me, I'm gonna if, if it's got expandable storage i'm just gonna buy the cheapest one and like put whatever storage in because one i want to know how that storage works because two that storage is eventually going to go tits up at some point yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> i went with the 256 model just because i didn't want to have to crack it open but you know eventually one day one day and one the day. 256 now is priced at what the 64 gig used to be so clearly that's that's doing i still wonders. want nvme drives to work like sony memory sticks did yeah, you just pop it. You just put them in and click it in place, and you're done with it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good news. Good news, everyone. You'll finally be able to play Angry Birds on your Steam Deck. Maybe, sort of, kind of, not really. Um, this comes from uh, one of our uh, patrons, Fizera, not Frieza. They're pirate. Um, they don't sell planets. They they just sell they jack stolen boat. boats. Yeah, they, they jack boats. <laughs> they jack jack boats and movies. <laughs> Uh, anyway, anyways, uh, this comes from XPA, aka Pavel, aka SteamDB, and uh, yeah, apparently someone was in uh, in the Valve depots manually updating stuff because we got a little bit of a leak. Um, uh, uh, there is a branch that now has a uh, it's an unknown app. It has effects in it, a couple ARM sixty four Proton builds, including one labeled Vanguard, another one with the suffix Wukong. Um, uh, uh, there's a Proton Experimental as well. There's a uh, Way Droid, and yeah, it, I guess it, it has to indicate depot size megabyte six 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 baby. Oh yeah, um, that Valve is going is considering a push into the mobile slash arm space, and of course, immediately uh, in the Twitter thread, people are like, "Oh my God, Deckard Copium!" People are in that thread are not allowed to use the word Copium anymore. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> is it is it Deckard? Is it a new arm based Steam Deck? Is it is a cake? I, I, I don't know. Um, but what I was thinking was on the topic of WayDroid, um, specifically, there are a lot of games on itch that ship APK versions. Um, and there are a lot of games that need to be side loaded onto Android. Steam supporting another easy way to bring your game over onto over from mobile makes a lot of sense, especially they were pushing their microtransaction framework a while ago. If they create like wine, but for microtransactions APIs that like sub in for Apple or Google, then th- it could be it could be something that they're going to be pushing in the future. Um, either, either way, uh, it's cool to see. Apparently the Wagerite people have no idea about this, so. Let me tell you what's really happening, kids. See, this basically just confirms for us that the Steam Deck 2 is probably going to be powered by, at minimum, 128 core ARM Behemoth SoC from Ampere. And it's going to ship with a 42-inch ultra-wide screen, just because some of you dumb motherfuckers don't get a joke. <laughs> 42 inch laptops. Yeah. Ultra wide, Pedro. <laughs> it's cur- curved. Controllers no, it's, on it's, each end, yeah, baby. You hold it like this. Yes. No, no, no. It's like super curved. So it like extends like a foot in front of you. And then like. <laughs> oh, dude. Can you imagine when we finally get the uh, sci fi screens where we can just adjust it to whatever? Yeah. <sighs> Turn right, smack someone in the head. <laughs> but back to it, man. Like, you know, but of course, it could be just somebody dicking around over at Valve. They're like, I want to get this working on my Chromebook for reals this time. Because, you know, they, they've been playing around with, like, ARM-based stuff. Since and there was supposed to be a Steam version for Chromebook specifically. There so. is. Yeah. Project yeah. Borealis. Could it be the Deckard? We don't know. I mean, if we're going to go ahead and, like, ban Copium, that's cool. Can we also, like, throw the kibosh on um, Sweaty? Sweaty's been getting overused past couple of weeks. It's, is it? I don't it know. It has, man. I've been I, seeing people drop. For a while there, I've Thirsty seen people was drop. I haven't even seen yes. them because that wouldn't make any sense. I've definitely heard people drop sweaty. I'm like, the fuck you doing? Just all dropping sweaty all of a sudden. I'm. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe I'm biased because I'm just like a very like actually sweaty individual in general. I think nah, so. dude. They talking about playing video games. Yeah, I get sweaty. It's, uh, the, the, the try harding. The uh... they're getting upset. Okay. Yeah, it's like <laughs> oh. it's working its way into the like WTF icon. I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. 
I'll start using it and kill it. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and stomp, I, stomp I, it right now. All, all I'm thinking of is like sweaty spaghetti. Honestly, the whole Deckard thing sort of makes sense. If Valve is in fact doing a standalone VR thing that's kind of like the Quest uh, VR headsets that are just Android phones running ARM um, things and you have that in a VR headset and you're using FEX and uh, native Proton ARM to play the games directly on it without having to connect to something else. Sure, that seems... I think the two problems logical. we got right there, like, don't you idiots know it's going to be risk 5 bro? Um, is I, it? <laughs> hi, no, Pedro. No, no, no. Pedro, shut your whore mouth. I'm a YouTube comment, all right? They're bringing back <laughs> Itanium then. Just you wait and see. I'm holding it. Itanium out. Mobile. I'm holding it. Itanium. Let's fucking Itanium. go. Itanium. Just like a capital oh, yeah. M at the end of it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, Itanium. Uh, it's a core Itanium M. 100. Yeah. <laughs> With the W cores. <laughs> it could be kind of interesting. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Like, you probably want your hand. Like, how deep can the like emulation rabbit hole go like i have newfound respect for the project i'm working on right now with box 64 not only is it amazing it is like extraordinarily performant mm -hmm. for what it is like could we get away with it do you want to try to run your x86 windows games through proton which is wine on a different platform and like when do we get there when does that not become any barrier to entry because we're pretty much at the point now in 2024 to where despite what you know the internet will tell you just about every game that you own is going to run under linux when you click the play button without any extra and the ones that don't are because of third-party software that the developers themselves have chosen not to support stop linux. spoiling the later parts of the Stay <laughs> so pedro directed completely at you when is our timeline for our army future for handhelds, because we got the Switch too coming out. Uh, yeah, the the Switch is its own thing. Then Nintendo's just gonna Nintendo the whole way through, and yeah. Um, but I think Valve is probably also paying attention to the generally positive reception that the higher performance ARM laptops are getting. So it's like, can we build? A Proton version that runs natively, like the wine bits run natively in ARM, and just then run the translation to x86 via fax, because that's I've, also a part of the update. The, the, I, th I think there's also just the, the, the general strategic play in general of, mm -hmm. Val of Valve going, hey, we don't want to be bound to any one platform. We've seen what happens when we go all in on Windows, it'll screw us over. Going in all in on x86 may screw us over as well. So let's explore other other spaces to make sure that we have uh, we have uh, a market. Uh, I just think a lot of people are going to be surprised. Feel free to clip this as when we see Steam uh, launch with the Switch Two. The 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 Switch Two. No, no, it's just going to be one of the little options on the Switch Two in the Nintendo Store. You can open your Steam and play all of your Steam games. Well, Valve did go to Nintendo. It's like, is Dolphin okay? <laughs> the, this, was yeah. the, this was the trade. <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's, it's like some fucking Dark Side sends Orion to High Father shit or something. That would be confusing as heck. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Interesting times ahead, man. I'm, um, I, I, I'm all in for like whatever like they want to rock and roll with. Um, and like, yeah, throw money at the Box 64 FX people. Like, I don't, I don't, I want to get to the point where we just don't have to worry about it. It just runs. Yep. Yeah. Click button, then go burr. That's the future I'm looking for. All right. Not one, but two new games to talk about this week. And the first one we're going to be playing in the after shows. And that's why you should come watch us live on Twitch or not. I'm not your boss. Do what you want. Might not be your boss, but he is your mom. Uh, but yeah, we're talking about the <laughs> Spellery Brigade. It is a co-op. Uh, Dark Souls like if you're watching the pre pre super surgeon because I don't fucking know the difference between <laughs> vampire survivors and Dark Souls I I just straight up don't um yeah it's got it's got the co-ops um and that might be a blessing or a curse because the main reviews or most of the reviews on Steam are very positive but if you go into the complaints a lot of people are saying yeah co-op kind of sucks with friendly fire because people keep dying all the time okay and now uh, where where do we land on that because uh, I think for a lot of people. A lot of groups, everybody's cool, but I've seen enough like friend groups and definitely watch like multi streams with people where they all got that one friend that 
the entire game, you just got to make sure not to shoot them as they run in front of you. There's certainly that, and I guess it really depends on the game too, right? Like, and there's also so, the griefer uh, that uh, actively targets the uh, friendly fire. Yes. <laughs> also, that executioner mask clearly has a penis on his face. It's the yeah, jalapeno. <laughs> He's a moon from Majora's Mask. He, it's it's Mac tonight. <laughs> now now I want some late night Mc, Mc Juniors, Junior Chickens. One of the reasons I wanted to bring this up, though, man. Uh, yeah, it it's Vampire Survivors, but with a you know far less hipster pixel. It's got online co op. Native Linux build runs like an absolute champ. I downloaded it this afternoon, fired it up, got right into it, and it's got a demo. Go try it out. Because here's the thing. I tried Vampire Survivors. I played around with it. Go look at my playtime. I got like two minutes in it. I'm like. <laughs> this is that this is that like it's not trying to pretending to really be anything else but i got a couple of minutes and i'm like yeah let's try this out in the after shows and i don't know maybe if it was the i'm thinking about it like maybe this would be better with multiplayer or maybe the presentation because really slick well done um maybe i just got like a aversion to hipster pixels i don't know i got more time in this i'm kind of looking forward to watching it just not work the multiplayer for whatever reason that'll be our luck yeah hey. yeah the demo doesn't have multiplayer go figure <laughs> it does <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll see <laughs> i didn't say it worked there there, there is a button yes <laughs> the, button the button is button there exists. okay cool <laughs> pedro i think you probably have um by a factor of like 24 to 900 times more playtime in Vampire Survivors than Jordan and I combined, multiplied by oh, yeah. infinity. <laughs> I, so, I don't know, yes. that, 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 that's zero, because I have zero hours in Vampire Survivors. What have you done? Is that a laptop back there? What are you cannibalizing that poor thing? Ah, uh, no, it's my wife's old laptop. I pulled her hard drive because she wanted her old photos off it. Oh, it just, I'm just looking at it, like, back there, and it's like, kill <laughs> me. It's so pink! That's a Vio. Oh, that's a Vio, yeah. So okay. Vio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is from it's from when she was in university. So Oh, retro well, gaming PC. All right. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> Up next. Uh something that I thought would just uh jiggle the Pedro. Uh, uh it, it, it comes very close. It's certainly hitting all the right notes with the uh, <laughs> Okay. The visual rephrase that for the video. You're you're I, I'm curious to find uh, uh, not even curious I, I'm going to be impressed by the flaws Pedro will point out <laughs> I, I'm a big fan it's a of flaw, PS1 it's Lincoln personal preference <laughs> uh, that is very much a kart racer we're talking about parking garage rally circuit uh, and that is very much a kart racer it's got all the mechanics of your super tux carts and your Mario carts and whatnot. but you're uh, driving around in a Parking garage of some description, which is good. Uh, the it's, Sega it's Saturn hilarious. inspired. <laughs> the, the what did they say? Precision driving with simple controls, arcade physics, all in a Sega Saturn style presentation. See, I played a lot of uh, Sega Rally and a lot of Daytona USA and a lot of Sega Touring Car and basically all of the racing games on Saturn. Um, and this one is. Is very close to Daytona USA, especially in the way that the cars all jiggle about, uh, and the uh, the drifting. It, it, it's I prefer Sega Rally, but uh, I don't hate Daytona USA. By but did, did any means Daytona measure. USA have giant meatballs in it? Uh, no, but it did have a horse that you could play as. Look at that! Ah, <laughs> come back here, giant meatball, be my friend. That's one spicy meatball. Yeah, the, the, there's the giant meatball. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like I, this, I think the this developer is like laser targeting late 30s uh, ish people, like that had a Sega Saturn, which is like 17 people, man. But they're gonna buy this game, and you know oh, what? Weirdly to, enough, to, I'm one of them. Right. And yes, to, I will probably credit. buy this game because it's cheap. <laughs> and and to its credit, it's got online multiplayer, unlike every single other. They fucking did the movie. thing. Yeah, on like yeah. every other racing game on Steam, they're like, why would you want to play this racing game with your friends on the internet? That makes no sense. Oh man, it's got uh, support for DualShock, Xbox, DualSense, it works on the Steam Deck, which is nice to see. You can get uh, base game 999, even when it does handstands, or 849, 15% off. 
So yeah, make a demo of this because you're like, hey, you know, this looks like a single person dev. You're probably listening to the show, seeing like what have these Yahoo's got to say about it because we love to fucking play it and uh, get some people in, put some people on those servers and get them going. And it runs with any Linux distribution after 2016. Challenge it runs accepted. on ARM, apparently. Interesting. ARM v7 had- or v8? Mm. Ah. <laughs> the p- uh, p- uh, oh, yeah, right. Project thickening. Borealis. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Good news, everybody. De- De- Deckard confirmed. Yes, guaranteed. You heard it here first. Let's get in to the game updates. This is the big one that the internet's been talking about this week. Rockstar has finally done something about filthy Linux cheaters, hackers. That's right. You don't have to worry about it. GTA 5 is now safe. It didn't immediately get bypassed within under 48 hours by the people that were doing the hacking and the cheating. Nope. Mm-mm. Actually, that is exactly what fucking happened. However, for the paying customers who don't do the cheaty bits that just wanted to play GTA 5 on their Steam Deck, and you might have noticed for the past, I don't know, year, GTA 5 has been in the top 10 of most played games on Steam Deck. Well, they flipped a switch. They added the battle eye to it. BattleEye, is it compatible with Steam Deck? Well, the answer to that is yes. However, they say the Steam Deck does not support BattleEye for GTA Online, which I guess could be technically true only if their level of like willful ignorance was to the point of not realizing that there are games on Steam Deck which work with BattleEye and make use of it because BattleEye added support for Linux well over a year ago. It just takes shooting off an email. However, you are without recourse on this. There's nowhere to go. Nothing to be done. Initially, people were like, can I get a refund? It's like, I only have 3,000 hours in the game. Because let's face it, it's been out for a couple of days. And But it, Valve has kind of taken the approach of like, well, that's a Rockstar problem. And Rockstar's like, that's a Valve problem. And they've been hesitant. A couple of people have managed to get refunds. I, I say vote with your damn wallets on this. But more importantly... Mm-hmm. This, this is something I always keep driving home. I'm, I'm going to drag it out every single time. Previously, when you went to the Steam Store page, it said playable. Didn't say supported on Steam Deck, right? Didn't have like the big thumbs up. It just said playable. And you go read what playable means, and Blim was like, it runs. You might have to adjust some menus and stuff like that. Playable means especially online. That it can disappear at any time. And there's fuck nothing you can do about it. Like, it's just shrug emojis followed by what you should have known better. <laughs> I'd like to see Valve pay more attention or revisit the playable tag and call it something better because I understand why you want that because like, that pumps the numbers on Steam Deck. They can say, look at all the games that are playable on Steam Deck. I mean, if they're going to maintain the deck verified thing as a manual intervention thing that uh, developers need to do and Valve themselves have a say in it, then playable just makes sense as the, uh, it could be verified, it could meet all of the requirements, it just doesn't have that official yeah. recognition. I mean, it's, it, it, it's one of those like, have your cake and eat it too type things, right? Where, you know, there's no, there is no official support for any most of these games on the Steam Deck. It is all via mm-hmm. Proton, and so yeah, it it is it is on Proton and their maintainers to ensure that compatibility. But then on the other hand, because this is unofficial, you know, Rockstar can go and say like, yeah, we we don't want this shit. Rockstar is getting ready to work with uh, GTA Six. That's getting ready to roll out on consoles initially. <laughs> They're just offloading the responsibility of maintaining their own anti cheat system to a third party. That's all this is. They're like, here, we'll just give you like the thing and you make it work and whatever. We don't even want to know it exists. It's like, cool. However, people got a little upset today. <laughs> a little bit. Because you might have saw another piece of GTA news about the online servers being attacked, getting DDoSed by players that are upset with a new anti-cheat. <laughs> what do we think about that? GTA Online has suffered network attacks by disgruntled player, or players, could be two people, 
following the launch of the new anti-cheat. And uh, yeah, they've been having problems getting logged in. They've been getting DDoSed pretty much all day today. Anti-cheat maker, <laughs> which I have less sympathy for, is also under attack. Yeah, my, 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 my heart. It, re- it, re- it really yes. breaks for them. So it's, it's, it's the top gear is like, oh no! Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you know, any, anyone can run a DDoS attack, right? This yeah. might just be like a disgruntled Linux user That's what I'm saying. with, 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 with a credit card and an Amazon atta- and account. But like... Here's oh, what oh, I'm oh, more curious oh. about, Jordan. What? Why did you leave a link to an Elden Ring video in this story? Did I? Probably not. It's probably Pedro. Why is it this YouTube video? Uh, I don't know. I didn't. Someone tried YouTube to tell me that I accidentally that left a Elden Ring 104 YouTube video. Oh. oh, that was me accidentally middle clicking something. Oh. <laughs> ne- never, never mind then. I was watching that. Now, yeah. Gonna, gonna remove, remove that real quick. I had a yeah. 50-50 chance on that one. Um, yeah. it, it, it's, it's a fun playthrough. They're, they're, they're doing it entirely as Mario, so it's only fireballs and butt stumps. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, but, by the <laughs> way, uh, just to wrap up, the uh, GTA thing is Valve is reportedly working with Rockstar to fix it. So Maybe. Possibly, <laughs> question mark. See, this is uh, uh, what, yeah, know, an the artist... Reply that, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Steam support uh, gave a reply to say, uh, we're really sorry that this is happening. We understand that this is frustrating for the users who purchased the game. We are currently working with Rockstar Games to find a fix. This is why we need to, if we want to dial it all the way back, have a rethink about the playable button. You know, make these things very clear because yes, it's your fucking fault. That you didn't read the fine print. No matter, you know, I'm not, nobody's your parent. They don't have to deal with your bullshit. You need to take that responsibility and say, right, that's how that's going to work out. Because I'm thinking about the people who are not us, the people who bought a Steam Deck. Hi, Stroy. It's been a while. Ooh, that went somewhere. Uh, Who bought a Steam Deck has nothing but a console. They don't have to put up with that shit on a fucking Nintendo, on Sony. On Xbox, no, none that's, of this horse shit true. that they got to deal with. But they with. are also paying another twenty nine ninety nine a month for online access. Yes, for they the ability like to that. play online. You're, you're going to yes. reason like <laughs> that has that to do with this? <laughs> I think we can all agree that we just hope something good comes out of the situation. There, now, reverse engineer GTA Five servers don't need that anti cheat, baby. I, I aren't there already uh, private? They are. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the roleplay server that uh, Jason Muse was playing. All right. On stream. <laughs> All right, let's get done with uh, Valve Anti-Cheat. So let's go for a little blast in the past right here at the beginning of the news segment. With Media? What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a little bit it's... of a game, because I want to roll it all the way back. Pedro did a bit of research, because I was thinking to myself, how far back do we have to go? When was the last time the top tier NVIDIA discrete GPU was overtaken. I didn't say just by AMD. I said by anybody, but realistically, like, what, what do we got? We're going to like three Ma- effects, Matrox. GT2, yeah. NVIDIA type stuff. Uh, how, how far back, Pedro, do we have to go in time in our little time machine before we're like, yeah, AMD handed NVIDIA's ass to it on the top end? Uh, 2011, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I had a oh, look when, through. when Skyrim came out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the 7970, when it first came out, was about the same price as the GTX 580, and it was pretty much beating it in every single benchmark at the time. The uh, Things got a little weird when the uh, NVIDIA released the 590, which was a dual GPU card, and uh, AMD released the 7990, which was also a dual GPU card. <laughs> Oh, dude, I, I remember when those were coming out, they came in, like, briefcases and shit. They were, yeah. like, they were doing some real crazy... They had a Star Wars version. There was, like, a Jedi the, and a Sith version. Yeah, dude, the performance on they those were, was weird. You couldn't get them because they were $1,000. Right, $1,000 for <laughs> Both a video of them card? GPU, you were That's mad, crazy. my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Who would spend more than $400 on a video card? Like, in the that, right- that would get you top end, too. Yeah. Yeah. No. The the seventy nine seventy and the five eighty were uh, five hundred dollar video cards. That was four ninety nine. That was you know the high end at the time. Yeah. And, and, so and I, I remember thinking like, man, I got I got to settle for this two hundred and fifty dollar budget forty sixty. Like, and dude, I I remember when those were coming out with the briefcase. I remember Ryan Trout got like the Star Wars, and I was like, my 
thought process for those? Like, yeah, I guess if I went lottery, spend that much money on a gpu and like welcome to you know insert current year here like that's just <laughs> gpu prices well, well, well welcome welcome to this story we're talking about right now yeah because yeah. uh a thousand dollars wasn't that quaint how about uh starting at 1500 and up the 4090 and the 4090 d are to be discontinued next month so october uh to be replaced uh ahead of the arrival of the 590 and the 590 d so yeah, if you haven't bought a forty no, ninety yet, it's because it. you can't afford it. So it, this is not <laughs> going to change anything about your life. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Because like you know, I for one look forward to uh, Nvidia just getting bored. Effectively, they're like, <laughs> really? Yeah, it, I, 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 another another five percent performance to set their own increase price. more than pay, they already pay, do. Pay, pay me another fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when when I, did the forty ninety launch? Um, to twenty twenty two. Google. I uh, guess twenty twenty two. Never. I don't. I don't. I don't have time for that shit. Um, twenty twenty two. November sixteenth, twenty twenty two. My favorite part of this was they're like, you know, NVIDIA wasn't really communicating when they were actually going to discontinue the 4090. This is a lot of speculation. Yeah, do they have to? Yeah. So, and, but, but, but uh, all the retailers <laughs> are like, yeah, you might want to brace for a shortage. So get your orders in now. Man, you gotta love working with NVIDIA. They don't tell you shit, man. They, <laughs> NVIDIA was already a pain in the ass to work with when like they were, they had a little bit of competition back and forth with the ATI and later on the AMD. Now? To, to, to the point where EVGA just pieced out like that again that I, yeah I miss their my EVGA longest cards. running board partner just went you know what no we're out you know I Peace. think EVGA was smart for like <laughs> that and not like going over to AMD either they're like this is a shit business to be in right now <laughs> they like foresight to like the margins on this is just going to be crazy and yeah it is kind of sad that the reason I put this in the show notes this week is we're definitely at the only thing to overtake the 4090 after, you know, or what, two coming up on three years now? It, yeah. 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 Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem that long, but it has. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, it's been two years ish. <laughs> it's going to be another NVIDIA card. Like, I, I wish we had, you know, if, if we talked about it, like the rumors of the 40 coming out we were still thinking like "Ooh, intel's gonna have a battle mage thing and amd's probably gonna do something and here we are knowing this we still don't know fuck nothing about battle mage other than it intel super pinky swears they're gonna make it and amd's already came out and publicly said do a mid-range man and honestly i think that's that that's a good thing again when we're talking about your ps5 pro being a 350 fifty dollar upgrade being able to like you know upgrade your pc is just having having that option on the table is nice, and having some like affordable mid range options, I think, is going to be good. The demand for the forty nine hundred, despite despite the fact that it is a fifteen hundred dollar card, they can't keep it on the shelves, and they're like, yeah, watch out, watch out, you're going to be the stock's going to dry up soon. Right? Make it's it's, it's crazy. not uh, to put it in perspective. Um, Microsoft effectively just bought Three Mile Island and uh, starting yeah. it back up again for for OpenAI, yeah. Or like they didn't, they invested in the company that is restarting Three Mile Island for a contract to get all of the power for the first twenty years. Mm -hmm. And something tells me they don't need that for Clippy. <laughs> oh no, no, they're, they're making Mega Clippy. No, this, they're, this they're, is, they're bringing the shape of Skynet. <laughs> Skynet is going to be Clippy. <laughs> Looks like you're trying to end the world. Would you like some assistance with that? Launching nukes. Have fun with that, NSA. Dude, I was really happy to see this, man. Yeah, this is this is really cool. This is uh, from uh, districtcon.com. The links to all this stuff is in our show notes. Uh, the Junkyard, it is from February 21st to the 22nd of 2025 next year. Uh, they are doing a Ponathon for EOL, well, IoT things. You might have accumulated in the past couple of years, fridges, washing machines, lamps, toothbrushes, sex toys, whatever. That gaming have some consoles. gaming consoles that have Software a Wi-Fi card and hardware that, <laughs> that connect to the internet and provide a service, 
And then at some point, the vendor said, you know what? It's been a year. You don't get service anymore. Uh, your thing's still going to connect to the internet and it's still going to fucking have open ports and it's still going to be a vulnerability. Uh, it's still going to be an attack vector for your house. Uh, so these guys are saying, well, why don't we do something about it? We want to get a giant library of zero days for all sorts of EOL, all sorts of random IoT hardware. We want you to responsibly disclose it so that uh, this doesn't just become a massive attack vector. But yeah, here uh, they they, they want to see it. Uh, and I'm really curious about like the j what kind of jailbreaks will result from this because I want a custom OS on my smart fridge. In general, I just want to be able to like install an OS on my smart device that just shuts off all of the like phone home functionality and lets it operate as a normal fucking appliance. I love that, seeing that, stuff that like this, but you got to think about it because they're being monsters though, man. They're being super unfair because this is going to encourage people to make open source software and hardware solutions for stuff that these manufacturers need you to toss in the landfill. Mm -hmm. Won't somebody please think of John Deere? Please, <laughs> you're suffering. <laughs> Won't somebody please th think of Apple and those millions of iPhones that are still in perfect or even if it's not like but, not uh, intentional, you know, if it's not like malicious behavior and I brought this up, uh, if you're new to the show, one thing I'm very heavy on is back in this rack, the thing that's moving right there. Now that is a Motu A28MK3. They make a version of this that uses Thunderbolt. They do. That thing's going to run you about 800 bucks. This one you can get on eBay for about two. Why? Because it's got a firewire port. What's the difference between those two models? A hole in the back. Firewire just kind of disappeared. But fortunately, a bunch of Linux hackers get together, and Motu's like, we don't do support for that anymore. It's gone. You can't get it. Don't worry about it. It's still alive and kicking in studios around the world because people decided to reverse engineer it, get it working again. I love this attitude. I love this yeah. attack vector of like encouraging people with prizes <laughs> to keep it, stuff seriously. from being just thrown away go nuts and they say like what's in scope any product software or hardware that's been publicly listed by the vendor as end of life yes <laughs> more of that please zero days for stuff that's supposedly not supported anymore part of me just kind of wants to see a lot of screeching from game publishers because someone decided to uh, hack one of their old games that they're not actively supporting anymore, and there's just a bunch of zero of these for yeah. them. P yeah. P yeah. The thing I'm interested in is all the fucking med tech they're going to pop. Be like, these are things that are installed in human beings that you can just shut down remotely. Pacemakers. <laughs> Pacemakers was such a big open cavity in your chest. <laughs> now, the good news is uh, Nintendo's already uh, put out a statement saying uh, everything from the NES onward is uh, now back in official support. Yes. They're, 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 they're <laughs> yeah, releasing they Splatoon the, the and the, the hypocrisy come out immediately. It's like, I ah, do. no, no, no. I saw some pushback. <laughs> uh, some people saying, well, this isn't a true zero day if you're warning him. You're like, you got to cover their ass. You know, you got yeah. to be able to come back and go. You can't say we didn't warn you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. th and again, <laughs> big, big disclaimers are like, don't break any laws. Don't mm -hmm. be under any U.S. sanctions. <laughs> And yeah, attempt to disclose the vulnerability. You, like you, you have to make the attempt. If they don't respond, that's their problem. But right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Before we get out of here, one last little bit. Uh, YouTube had its uh, top creator con, you know, going alongside like TwitchCon, which is also going on this week. And they've introduced not one, but <laughs> nine new features. Yes, and the one that uh, really like. Confuse the absolute snot out of me. There's a couple in here. Let's uh, take a look. Vio is coming to Dream Screen. Does anybody know what Vio is? Do you know what no. a Dream Screen is? Me either. It's the image generation uh, thingy. All right. Next. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> Inspiration tab in YouTube. That's right. It's going to give creators AI suggestions about how to feed the algorithm new content. Titles and thumbnails and outlines to match your style. It'll be tailored just for you so you could be a good little worker and make the content that will appease the all-knowing algorithm. A AI is going to tell you what will make the AI work better for you? Yes, uh, that's yes. basically the pitch. Number three, the one that confused <laughs> a lot of us, myself included, communities. They're going to be a new space for creators. We can enable them on their channel page to foster deeper relationships with our audiences, basically creating 
not forums, but forums on your individual YouTube pages, and you can talk and share ideas, and I'm lost like a motherfucker, but fortunately they bring like, but also there's a community hub, which is kind of the same thing. That's the existing one that's going to get AI enhanced stuff? Oh, more AI, all right. So yeah, this, 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 this is this is the, this is the uh, YouTube Studio, and the other one was for the regular users. I guess yeah. I should cut on the JavaScript so these aren't like blurry vision. There we go. Uh, new tool to help creators and interact with auto dubbing. Finally, uh, creators can make their video. You know, this is actually not too bad. I like yeah. this. That, 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 that's, that's a good one. That's like an Dude, actual that's business. actually useful. That, that, that legitimately up, is useful. <laughs> we're gonna get Pedro reacts to Linux theme cast in Portuguese. <laughs> with the auto dubbing back to English. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's phase one. <laughs> yeah. no, and, and, and then we run that through the TikTok text to speech voice. Oh, you know? yes. <laughs> so that's just pretty cool. Now, and one that I talked about, I don't know if I talked about it like on the actual show proper, but definitely in the pre show because I got an invite to this a long time ago and I laughed about it. Uh, the hype, which was initially, it's been modified. Initially, this was pitched effectively as like, you know, Twitch bits where you could buy like support su cheers, su super likes. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we we're to get the thumb up button and like, Hey, you can share and tell people about it. Mm -hmm. was, that's what they're calling them. <laughs> so this new one, you're going to get a letterboard on YouTube about like the most hyped <laughs> videos. So this is going to work with like, every, you're going to get some free hypes. Everybody gets a couple of free hypes, you know, like two or three. For, for, like, for, first one's always free. Yeah. And you can hit it, you know, like you like a video, and like maybe if enough people like that, it'll get it up there on that board that people will instantly learn to just filter out of their vision like they do the shorts thing. Uh, but if you're a super fan or just a creator trying to make it in this bullshit world, you're going to funnel your own money into buying more because they'll sell you some extras. So that's why oh, yeah. you, you, you take that ad revenue and you give it back to yes, Google. It's so going to be very slow. So, yeah. What's the word? Cyclical? Yeah. yeah, cyclical. It's like an Ouroboros. Yeah. YouTube shopping is number seven. I should on YouTube. Whatever. Don't care. Uh, eight. Gifts. Powered by jewels. Gifts. What is it? Uh, no, no, uh, jewels are uh, for YouTube what bits are on Twitch. Oh my God. <laughs> So this is, that's what that turned into. All right. I do, uh, also, I do like that they have the attractive woman on the video. So this is, I spent $50 on you. Why aren't you paying attention to me? I'm yeah. going to send you the, a bunch the, of hate they're comments. Targeting, they're targeting the sim crowd with that very much. <laughs> they need to target something because live experience on YouTube is absolute dog shit. Now let's talk about number nine, stand out on the big screen, uh, creators contents on tele, man, no, whatever. Like if you're watching oh, YouTube. Can, can, can we have seasons yes, YouTube for YouTube TV? Everyone loves fucking YouTube TV. Dude, it? <laughs> there's somebody out there who's like, that's the only way I, what do you mean? YouTube, not TV? Mo 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 <laughs> most people watch YouTube on their TV. Like, it, like that has replaced television for most people. Their phone. Well, they well, watch TV. The, no the, well, I mean, it comes down to like, for those people who still watch TV. Yeah, for, 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 the, for the people who watch <laughs> yeah. TV. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 we could get in the right uh, framing there. So, I'm not terribly stressed out about this. Um, I, I get why they're doing it, though. Because a lot of this shit, as we just pointed out, exists, you know, forums, bits, and all that. Some people will not leave a platform. Like, YouTube is, like, the only thing they will interact on. That is where they will chat with a, you know, leave a comment, leave a like. You ask them to go outside of that, they're like, not gonna you, happen. You, YouTube has the big scare thing. You click on a link that takes you outside YouTube. They're like, "Oh, you're leaving YouTube. That's a bad idea. You're yeah, gonna get a virus." Like Steam, yeah. Discord, which I'm very <laughs> yeah. glad everybody does that. I'm very glad. Like, you should have this not scared out of you because you get a deal. Yeah, with don't most don't, don't, don't click on random links. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but those people exist there, and they don't have any. You know, they want to like give them forum a place to meet with like other like. That's great. But even if you see some of the things that we just talked about, you're like, this is dumb. I agree with you. Most of them are dumb. We don't have to worry about it, kids. Why? This is Google. Seven out of these nine are not going to survive 2025. Let's be real. And you know, the one that does survive is going to be the absolute worst one. that no The one Lord of the them. Dumb. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the, the, the AI prompt one is the thumbnail prompts. That's the one that's, that's my prediction. That's the one that's sticking around. Everything else is getting thrown out. 
I, I say we view. do a uh, <laughs> we go we log in in one pre-show and we get all the suggestions and prompts and we do a completely AI ordered video. Yes. Oh no, we get Bard to do the show notes. Oh yeah. P- people, uh, people tried that when uh, GPT four came out. A lot of people did. Okay, I asked GPT four to make an episode for me. <laughs> And then there were like a few months later, it's like, yeah, that AI video did the worst out of all my videos. <laughs> yes. But the thing about AI is like when you're using a model like that, that day was the worst it was, ever was. I, I, I'm just saying something like this is watching something like that is the same reason I went into the wax museum. I did not expect this to be good. I walked in to see how bad it was going to get. Yeah, I wanted to see some cursed ass wax mannequins, and that's what I got. So you know, YouTube if, if, if is definitely on the like strange trajectory of to the race to the bottom of the brainstem, you know. And then like I constantly get suggested and reminded, like, please do shorts. We would really like it if you do shorts. Shorts are so awesome. There's incentives to do them shorts, sweet man. YouTube's been pushing that for over a year. Now, yeah, this is like the, the one TikTok question that been... I'd like to ask um, to everybody in the audience is, are you the person that watches shorts? If so, what do you watch and why? Because I've actively avoid shorts. I have zero interest, mainly because they're in the wrong aspect for anything, because I carry around a tablet, and I don't carry around a tablet like I got a big mobile phone. I'll crack it open and check something. I don't have interest in TikTok, but if you do, let me know in the comments because I'm genuinely curious. And like, do you follow particular creators because they have shorts? Uh, I mean, as, as probably the one guy here who does consume shorts in any real capacity, like, honestly, they're just like little little teasers for larger videos. That's how I use them. Or again, if I got like five minutes to kill or if I'm on the toilet. And I'm pooping for five minutes and I just want to watch a couple one off videos as opposed to I, I don't know. But I, I, I'm, I'm of extremes. I'm the guy who watch. I also watch like three hour video essays. So if I don't want to watch that, I need Pedro something Mateus, in and out. Uh, somebody who would look at a three hour video essay and say rookie numbers. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I watched um, Patrician TV's 20 hour Skyrim quick retrospective, <laughs> as he called it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, the, the 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 point is, there are times when I don't want to buckle in for x number of hours. I want like under a minute. Yeah, and I think like, the only thing out of all of these that like even can like concerns me a little bit is like the community feature because it like when I see something like that, like it's forums effectively is how it's described. Where does all that go when YouTube kills it? You know, I, the same place that Google Plus did, the fucking I, ether. <laughs> I, brought, I, I brought I brought this up just because just because I I, I want to pose the question. All if right. they just brought back Google Plus as is, do you uh-huh. think it could succeed? Do you th- do you think would it work it, in a modern uh, yeah, climate? Yeah, yeah. It would because it's so far removed to the shit show that has taken place in the last five years. Yeah, it would feel like new and fresh. It would just be like, ah, oh, remember the old internet? It was the good it, old days. It, but I it want you to think about this, like different. Yeah, the absolute shit show reality TV <laughs> series we all live in today. Yeah, Jeep. But here's the downside, though. What would poor Jeep, perfect little rose colored G Plus, look like in 2024? It would be oh, yeah. manked up pretty hard, man. Well, yeah, you know, you see what they do to YouTube every nine months, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, the 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 layout changes that they keep, especially that latest one. This latest one is. It took a while for it to get to me. <laughs> it it hit Nori, uh, Nori's account, got the new layout long before mine did, and she went, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> so, oh, you talking about like the one on desktop now that looks like mobile? Yes. Yeah. Th- th- that that looks absolutely I got atrocious. On that a couple and of times, they keep yeah. like you have the main video at the top, and then you have three shorts lined up below it, plus. Uh, like another short recommendation than the list of recommended videos. Uh, after uh, b- below that, yeah. the it's bad. Un- un- unrelated <laughs> to YouTube. Bad. The, the other one, the other one who's super egregious about it is GitHub. GitHub will push out a UI update mm-hmm. and move everything around and just 
fuck me up for like a good year. Here, let me go ahead and blow somebody. Let's get back on YouTube though. With uh, yeah, oh yeah, I agree with you with GitHub. Every time GitHub moves a bit, and I'm like, God damn it, uh, YouTube. I'm, I'm going to blow somebody's mind that's listening right now. You know, you're watching a full screen video on your desktop. Scroll down. See what happens. <laughs> Try it. Get back to me. Uh, one thing YouTube is also, uh, they didn't mention it for whatever reason, <laughs> is they're uh, introducing pause screen ads. Ah, R R Roku hasn't gotten, hasn't beaten them to it yet. Uh, <laughs> Ubisoft <laughs> with the Assassin's Creed Oh, games. God, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Loading I, I, screen I, ads, dude. The, 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 the Roku one, I think, is especially bad because it's like, it's going to detect when you pause your game to show you ads. Just imagine YouTube, like the really like valid complaint. Like I heard about that was like, what if I'm trying to read something on the screen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I assume like all of these ads you're gonna have. It'll be like the old days of the web, like when the ad would pop up with a little microscopic. Yeah, how oh, they, they're still close there. <laughs> oh no, no, or people the who browse the internet button. nowadays. Oh yeah. right, where you have to like have a have a think before you attack this. Puzzle yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this isn't a real close button. That's the link. That's yeah. the actual yeah. link to the thing. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that that's that's the future we're headed for. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. Um, I am. We just got to use YouTube as like a CDN. Oh, like I, I don't like want to get invested with all the other crazy stuff. Yeah. Well, and, and, and again, it's it, it's smart because you know Google's gonna kill it, right? So like, you do the do the bare minimum. For the thing that it does, and that's it. Yeah, but if you and, are going to bring it back, I mean, just call. Let's just change YouTube to like Y plus. <laughs> no, no, it's just just what, 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 what? Damn it, y Jordan! I want Yurkles. All right, Yurkles. <laughs> Give me Yurkles. What? What about Urkels? Nope, I will only accept Yurkles. I want to put people in Yurkles. <laughs> I'm getting later in the show, like tomorrow. I'm going to look up what Yurkles. Like, oh my god. Shouldn't have said that. So, so like, I, I, I hear, did, did you read, you, you didn't read it because you're too old for that. Uh, Pedro, did you read Animorphs? I think, I think of Yerks. The, I know the, what the, Animorphs the, is. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you know the plot of Animorphs? Do you know the characters? No, I know the covers of the fucking books like a normal right, person. Yeah, so, 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 <laughs> yes. right. yeah, I know so the I'm, covers I'm, too, I'm but I never read it. <laughs> fair, fair enough. But Pedro, you are of the age where you could have. That is yes. my point, where you could have actually read the books, where there are the fake go old that are called mm -hmm. the Yerks. That's what I'm getting at. Okay, all right. <laughs> there, 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 there was a point at the end of the diatribe. It took us a while, but we got there. Um, the first Animorphs book was published, if you had to take a guess. 94? Under or over, Mid Pedro? Mid-90s-ish. That I, uh, again, I, I, got, I got a 94 a on the later. field. I got a 94 on the field. So we're going to need a number okay, answer. 96. <laughs> 96. Fucking Petrodamus over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. 1996. I, yeah, I, was, I, I remember seeing them in uh, like Christmas 1996. They were pretty big in some places. <laughs> Yeah. I've uh, I just assume people morphed into animals. Like I said, I've seen them in bookstores. It's like one person starts as a person, then shit gets yeah, weird, no, it, then animal it, on the it, other end. It, it starts off like that, and then they're like, "Oh, we're fighting an intergalactic war. We need mm -hmm. to go to the special needs home and give the special needs people superpowers so that they can become soldiers. Because then, when they tell their handlers about aliens, no one's gonna believe them. So that we can continue waging our secret war. Are you trying <laughs> to get me to read this? <laughs> You can read it if you want. It, it, it got yeah, a little messed up near the end. That could fly in the 90s. Not nowadays. Not no more. <laughs> did, they ever, did they ever do like a crossover with the boxcar children? No. <laughs> they, 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 they did not, but Animorphs, it, it got, it got, they got real for some fucking children's novels. <laughs> Shit hit differently back then, kids. Like, like yeah, they, they, weren't, they weren't paying attention to what they were putting in front of children. Not Look, really. Yeah. I mean, they're still not the the brain rot music nowadays on YouTube. <laughs> oh, just, or just you, the 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 hellscape that is YouTube for kids. Spider Man, pregnant Elsa, yeah, whatever. I mean, this yeah. is like one thing YouTube's really good at, though. Uh, just to close it off, is not knocking Elsa up the um, recommendation because this is why, like, the whole 
bonus super thumbs up pay money for that discovery thing youtube's really good at discovery like youtube oh, is legitimately will show me shit that i might have been thinking about like two days ago and i'm like all right i mean that happens at enough frequency to where i'm i'm not impressed by it but i'm like you're doing a good job for music it's also really good for recommendations as well recommendations and discovery you know just like oh, oh all right well i'll go check that out Good job on that. All right, before we get out of here, I want to thank uh, our latest Twitch subs, uh, P, uh, Pip, Pip 5528. And, and Norse Ranger. Norse Just Ranger on, for that uh, 25 month. Resub. Come hop in our Discord. Come play Truck Mania with us. You can get all those deets over on our web zone. We still got one of those. How vintage is that? And while you're there, click that support tab. Um, become one of our beautiful party patrons. You can support us on LibrePay, PayPal. We got the crypto bits. Uh, we got Amazon wish list. If you want to pick us up something for the show, send in a note. We'll read it. It's pretty fun. Uh, make sure it's you know nice and jokey. And of course, we got a merch store, Amazon storefront, and humble affiliate. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, did the first test run. Can't uh, tell you about it. It's one of those things. Like if you were just there on Trek Mania on Friday, that was a special time. Uh, a bunch of people participated, and uh, well, fortunately, not as many as we could have handled. The uh, Friday night cup series. If you want to get on that, we'll be back on Tuesday. Fun times. Uh, Jordan, you do streams on Thursdays. How's the Outer Worlds treating you, baby? Um, I looked up, and apparently we're not actually at the end of the murder on Eridanos DLC. There's a bunch of other shit, but we're close. So nice. that's, that's, that's going. <laughs> and of course, we do weekly daily Wednesdays where we talk about Firefox from Japan. Florp. Browser, a lot of people didn't know about, and I want to give a little shout out because it does some things a little bit differently. Go back and give that a listen. Podcast available wherever you're at, and of course, if you are a patron, we give you the video version that you can just download, not even worry about YouTube, and it looks a lot better too. Also, with the pre pre super shows and and the uncut versions, if you if you're like this headache could go on for another two, yes, it can. And yeah, you can it listen does. to it whenever <laughs> you want. All right, didn't get any great hate mail this week. No, I got one I could have put in. I might actually put it in next week, but it was more of a time issue because I had to play with Razda. Pedro, let's see how hot Pedro is. <laughs> no Pedro, near hot on his face. <laughs> Pedro, I wouldn't put my junk on you. <laughs> you and a lot of people. <laughs> War, warm to the ton. In, in, in general? or <laughs> I, I'm just saying, uh, this, this would be a taint repellent amount of heat. <laughs> hands i'm all right with maybe a leg a shin maybe a pinky toe but yeah you you wouldn't want to not, 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 not the tender vittles <laughs> but it's doing a good job because it's got you know again this is a raspberry pi man like block that's got a video encoder attached to it it's doing uh network ip audio and it's doing av1 decoding and encoding so yeah fascinating go check out uh what I got written so far about that over on Interfacing Linux, if you want to get up to some content creation on the old Penguin, yes, it is possible. And I'm here to show you how to do it. Go check it out. Also got a YouTube channel. Click on that. Watch a video or some shit. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time to get the right music, because last week that shit was broken. <laughs> <laughs> you can always uh, find this right here on Twitch, 8 p.m., 7.30 if you're a patron. Hop into our Discord. we got the pre-pre-super shows and what passes for a production meeting here at Linux Gamecast. Get in touch with me. I'm on X at Vin Stone. I'm on our Mastodon instance. You know it. Vin at mass.linuxgamecast.com. i got a Blue Sky account. I'm probably still the only Vin there. That's pretty much it. I'm Jordan. You can think of me as a $350 upgrade for your PlayStation 5. Follow me on Mastodon at frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com at Blue Sky at Brojo at bsky.app or on Twitter at The Burning Fool. And I am Pedro Mateos. You can always find me just shutting my brain off and playing Skyrim because it's it's comforting. <laughs> it is strangely comforting to play a game that you can play with your brain off Let, the whole Let's time. be honest, dude. I've seen some more bizarre cozy games, right? Like <laughs> yeah, the, 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 there, there are games that absolutely uh, do it a lot better or worse depending on how you want to look at it yeah like super meat boy uh, yeah <laughs> no v that, v that, v that, v that v gives v you v other v things v uh but yeah you can Tetanus? find me on um 
Mastodon, it's uh, unaccounted for with the actual number for at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Follow me there. I'm also technically on space, hey, but I don't use it, so... Mm. Yeah, we forgot to add each other last week, man, but we'll remember in the after shows <laughs> this week. And I also want to give a shout out to Mike, the last one standing in the LGC live Discord, <laughs> listening to the live audio. Everybody else is like dialed up. Time for some credits. The wrong button. Time for the wrong button. <laughs> Where are our credits? There we are. There we are. God damn. <laughs> it was, wasn't obnoxiously clear, apparently. Well... It's that time. We made it. We did it. I'm I'm proud of you all. We gotta thank our Theron, and we gotta thank our executive producers, one, two, three, four, five, Ian, Eship, Kerducky, Drummer, the Targos, Barbaramp, Scott, Atomic, Mike, and our little Nikki fans, Tree Sloth, Eggy, Basil, uh, MPT, and Casey Clism. And the Sea Monsters, Dancing Joe, John, Dirty Dean, Angel Dementor, System DRL, Rider X Machina, Nehemiah, Veritanuda, Trudgy, Mike. And the Death Notes, Redisk, Mark, Tara, Oil of Hope, Benjamin, Nova, Chad, Romeo, Nubbin, and a lot of people, Jill, Steve, they're all there. <laughs> Daniel Craig? James Bond? Yes. Mr. Amish. Douglas. Benoit Blanc himself? A, a penguin that uh, did things. <laughs> that, that is going to be our auto-generated translations from next week. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I got a little spider bro crawling up the wall on the other side of the studio. Hey, buddy. Oh, spider bro. There was a massive huntsman put, outside put, the door put the camera last on week. Him. Spider, you're on. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is just like aliens from Spaceballs. Is a, the fuck spider's like, sup, chat, fuckers. Yeah, right. <laughs> smash that smash that spider button, fam. Die to fire, everyone. <sighs> See you next week. Hey. Five dudes.